Welcome everybody, Steve here. We're continuing on the old Chevy, doing some more uh, rust repair. And uh, it's time to start working on this section here. Now I know that I've got to do some on the inside, but it's also rusted out on the outside. But this, this isn't your regular patch. It doesn't just go straight underneath. Can't get the camera to show you, but basically, it looks like this. So it comes up and then there's a little notch. So basically it goes in like that. And then we've got this lip here. So what I have contrived, I built a panel that looks like this, that has, I basically stuck a piece of 3 16 on the edge, welded it so it's got a lip to mimic this little lip right here. And then that's going to fit in there like that, and then we'll put another piece on that side. This is a magic patch. A lot of work to it. Let's take a closer look at it. You can see the contour here. That's this piece right here. Now this doesn't have to be built exactly the same as what it's on the car, but it's going to be pretty darn close. So I've got this. And I've just I basically bent up just a piece of flat. And you can see that the edges roll up because that it, they have to meet the edge. So this is where the door would meet. So everything has to be flat, so you have to bend this up. And then on the end, I've got a piece of 3 16 And I had to weld a nut on the back end so we could bolt the, the uh, fender up. But I welded that a little proud here and then just flared out my weld a little bit and that's going to be that lip. Now we can um, grind this a little bit more if we have to. I'm really not too sure how it's going to meet up or if it needs to be body worked that's not a big deal either. But that's what we have to build and I'm going to show you how I did it. All right. Oh, another thing I did, should mention it, you got a flat weld here. I did weld up back on the inside here as well. Hopefully you can see that. Yep. Just to give it a little bit more support so it doesn't crack on there. That's the patch. Now I just tacked on this patch here and when I put this piece on I left it just a little bit proud that way I've got room to grind and it's solid steel and there's weld on the other side so we got lots of room to grind. So now, now that this is set I can now um, repair the rust in here and I've left this in just a little bit so that the uh, metal will be uh, end up being flush. So it should work out pretty good. Well, I put a bit of a curve in this little chunk here. It seems to fit okay. I think it's going to be good. This isn't the the best, 
you know, the material in here is pretty thin, but we'll make it work. I'll just trace this out, cut her out. So I think the best thing to do here is we'll, we'll butt weld on the edge so that we're flush. But on the back side over here, I think it's better if we just lat welded it. I think it's just going to be better. That thin material and all that kind of stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll zip it out of there and make that happen somehow. So let's build that patch. So we got to bend this piece of metal to kind of look like that. Of course, we're going to have a notch here. It goes 5 eighths and then down. But I've drawn that out here. And then here, this is where I want to start my bend. And then I'm just, these are just every half inch, I just have some indicators so I know that I'm fairly straight. I don't want to get it crooked. So we'll just get started and we'll just do little micro bends. Just a little tiny bit at a time. They all add up. So almost, uh, almost got to be an artist to come up with these uh, ideas and and then do this. This is uh, it's really easy just to take a bought an old panel, put it on there, weld it up to build one. That that takes a little creativity. Something I enjoy. So if you do a little, like little eighth of an inch at a time, then you get a nice smooth curve. You don't get a stepped curve. Like this curve here is a nice smooth round curve. Let's see how she's looking here. That's looking okay so far. You can see down once we get closer here, we've got to bend it a little steeper. And then we've got to put just a hair curve in, into this up at the top. It's looking good. Hope you can see that. Now we'll get a little steeper.
what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to just start this bend here just a little tiny bit before it gets too far. Just it'll just help me out I think in the end. Just a slight bit, not much. Getting pretty good right there. That's looking really, really good. We'll just put a slight bend on, on here, not much. Okay, now the tough part. We just gotta work this until I can get to my line. So we may have to come back and retweak a couple things, but that's all right. Good. Got a little bit more to bend here. And all I have to do is bend this guy. That looks pretty good. Now remember, you don't have to have this thing exact, exact, because we're replacing the whole panel. So we're not matching up against anything, but that fits pretty good. I like it. We just need to build, bend the 90 on this piece here, which is the easy part. So we're almost there. Let's head over to the bench. So we gotta bring this part of the panel up to that corner there. So we're just gonna cut along about an inch and a half, both sides.
flatten this out just a little bit here. Oh, you do that on. Gotta go find a hammer. Okay, I'm just going to use the pliers to help things along here. Trying to get an angle where you guys can see what's going on. I know what I mean. Put her in the waist. And we'll just slightly bring these down. And then we can just tune everything up with the, uh, with the uh, hammer. Make it all pretty. Ugh. Well, you can see the horror stories that I have to deal with. That is a brutal patch, so I'm going to have to cut that out of there and repair that before I can put in my new one. I'll, I'll do that and get back to you. That's a tough one to, to film and yeah, that would be real boring. Not too sure what that is, but there's a quality patch for you. Kind of wished I would have thought of it. Our next move here, this thing is uh, fitting pretty good. I gotta do a little trimming off this side, but that's to be expected. But, we gotta weld this up. And when I weld this, I wanna kind of flatten it out so that I've got a little bit of a cup in here. And that'll, that'll be my contour on that uh, body edge there.
Well, we got everything tacked up and I'm really, really happy with this patch, the way it's turned out. Now this is a pretty complicated patch, but you know, we made it with some simple tools and uh, you know, just have to put some thought into it. I'm going to be honest, you know, about two weeks ago, I looked at it and I just kind of kept going over different ways of doing it. And I'm really, really happy the way the slip is because now I can grind this lip, it's solid steel. So now I can grind this to fit the exact contour of this and it'll work out awesome. Um, the lip on this side over here is gone and we will, I think I'll do the same thing, put a little thicker chunk of steel on there. That way when we round it over, we don't have to worry about nothing. <clears throat> this is all rusted out in here. That's another day. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain, but those are kind of some of the things you got to live with. And that's just, you know, you got to turn on the mind to, I don't know, you might have to fire a couple more brain cells to get this one done. Definitely above the grade six level, but we'll do her. We'll get her. Really happy with this, the way it fits there. This is okay, but it's really tough. When somebody else has done a repair, to redo it is twice as much work than to just have done it uh, right off the bat. And you know, any of you guys that, that do this stuff, um, it just seems like there's fewer and fewer guys out there that can do a nice job and where you know, you've got something to work with. Now, this has been very, very difficult. This is probably one of the most challenging uh, jobs that I've ever had to do because everything that was done is wrong. You know, nothing lines up, it's way out, you have to cut it out, it's all done in brass. But those are some of the things you just gotta put up in this fancy world of restoration. All right, enough talk, let's get at it. Got some more pinholes up here, I gotta fix them too. But I'm gonna wait till I get everything welded up. Yeah, I'm thinking that patch turned out pretty darn good. <laughs> 